Hello again, Vinyl Community, Matt here. And uh, tonight I am having a little bit of a clear out of sorts. I got a lot of stuff here already. <laughs> so you kind of know you're obsessed when you have no more room for vinyl. You know you don't. And you desperately try to make room anyway. <laughs> because you don't want to get rid of any more records. So what I've always done and anyone who saw my uh, music room setup tour video uh, two or three weeks ago would have seen this. But I've always uh, had my album with a plastic outer sleeve with the record stored in an inner sleeve at the back. But I've been thinking about doing this for a while and I've been putting it off. It occurred to me that although this is convenient, I mean it's easy to get a record out. I mean I, I literally just have to do that and the record's out. It takes up a heck of a lot, a heck of, a lot of space. Um, I mean, you can imagine each one of these these cubes holds, I don't know, let's say seventy records. Well, I'm essentially adding the thickness of seventy records to every single one by doing this. So I am going through and I am taking these out and putting them inside, and it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of an arduous process. I have done the twelve inch singles, and now this was completely full and completely tight. I couldn't, I could barely get any records out. Now, I've got a nice amount of space. Same thing over here. Um, I could probably fit another 10 more, maybe a little bit more in each, in each cube up here. And now I'm going through and doing the same thing with the rest of the uh, cubes. So I've got six more to do here. And then I've got six more to do down there. <laughs> so it's going to take a little bit of time and in the meantime I've been pulling out uh, some of the paper inner sleeves not so much to free up space I mean these do not take up a lot of space and besides they're inside the sleeve so big deal but because in some cases it's difficult to get the um, inner sleeve inside the, um, uh, the jacket or the record and I am trying to keep any inner sleeves that are in any way custom or of the time period. But you'll see that like all of these are just plain, generic, white paper inner sleeves. So no big deal. Now, it is going to be a little more inconvenient to get a record out. Because now, of course, it's I can't just slide it out. I'm actually going to have to take... The record out of here, but I'm deliberately facing the uh, records outwards, so I can at least just quickly just grab it like that. And it's inside the inner sleeve right here. You can just about make it out right there. So inside the the plastic inner sleeve. So uh, yeah, this is going to take a while. I actually started this a couple of days ago. This is like my third night doing it, and it's extremely time consuming because I probably have close to a thousand records to do and <laughs> when I'm done I might reorder the records but I'm kind of starting to rethink that because this is taking so long but yeah I'm doing it to make room for more I'm gonna be honest about it that's really what it's all about and I got to thinking you know okay it's gonna be more inconvenient to take a record out but how how often do I listen to any one given record that it's actually going to be inconvenient, and the answer is really uh, not very often. I, you know, I mean, I have records that I listen to more than others, but there's no record that I listen to uh, even every week, let alone every day or anything. So I really don't think it's going to be any great hardship. And we're going to make room for some more. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> so this is my Saturday night. No, my Friday night. Jeez, it's not even Saturday yet. That's good. It means we we got the whole weekend to go. Yeah, this is my Friday night. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, anyone who's uh, celebrating Father's Day this weekend, happy Father's Day. This will be my second Father's Day. But in a way, it feels like the first because my daughter's only 14 months old. So she was only two months old last year for Father's Day. So it's a little bit... Um, uh, I think this one will be a little bit more uh, gratifying in one sense, just because she uh, she still doesn't speak any any words, but she still but she communicates, she points and 
she does this baby sign language thing. It's supposed to be this for it means all done if you've you know she's finished, but she does it like this. <laughs> it's pretty cute, um, you know. And so she she lets us know uh, different things, and she communicates. So I think it's going to be uh, uh, more um, more enjoyable than last year because you know she was two months old last year and couldn't, you know, she just laid there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this is my friday night could end up being part of my saturday night too if if uh if i don't get a move on so i better get back to it hope everybody's doing well hope you guys all have a great weekend and until next time bye bye mm -hmm.